it's Lisa, registered dietitian with Healthline. You may know that protein is an important nutrient to get in your diet. And when you think of adding more protein to your plate, you might reach for foods like beef, chicken, fish, and eggs. Those are all great sources of high quality protein. Now one large egg has about six grams of protein and the foods we're gonna talk about today all have more than that plus some extra nutrition benefits. But protein is found in so many different foods. So today we're gonna to talk about foods that may surprise you that actually have more protein than an egg. First up is pumpkin seeds. In one ounce of shelled pumpkin seeds, you'll get eight grams of protein, which is pretty significant. You'll also get some heart healthy fats, some fiber, and some key minerals like magnesium and zinc. Pumpkin seeds are a good source of the mineral magnesium, which is associated with better sleep. They're great for your heart. Zinc is important for your immune system. Lots of antioxidants here, vitamins, minerals, fiber, and that protein. I love putting pumpkin seeds on my salad, adding them to a DIY homemade trail mix, or just eating them a handful at a time. You can also blend them up in a smoothie, but they're really easy to add to your diet and pretty affordable and a decent source of protein. So in front of me is a bowl of pasta, but it's not just any pasta, this is chickpea pasta, which has 14 grams of protein in a serving. That's quite a bit. Now even a bowl of regular pasta has seven grams, so nothing too shabby, but what I love about chickpea pasta is it delivers a lot more protein, plus you're getting almost eight grams of fiber here, which is another nutrient most of us don't get enough of. Chickpea pasta is pretty much made with just dried chickpea flour. And if you don't like whole wheat pasta or other types of pasta, chickpea pasta tends to be a little bit more mild, so you may find yourself enjoying it. Plus you'll get that nice protein and fiber boost. You may not think of bread when you think of high protein foods, but all bread has some protein in it. Sprouted grain breads tend to have a little bit more. So in two slices of sprouted grain bread, you'll get eight grams of protein. Now, if you add even more protein to the middle, like eggs or sandwich meats or even peanut butter, you're gonna get even more. So this is your starting point. But I love that sprouted grain bread tends to be higher in protein. It's also usually high in fiber, again, coming from those whole grains. Plus, it usually doesn't have added sugar, which is another nutrient I look out for when I'm buying bread. But I love having this toasted up in the morning with some peanut butter or making a really yummy breakfast sandwich with eggs. And again, delivering that delicious and good for you protein. Cottage cheese has 23 grams of protein in one cup. Now, compared to other cheeses, that's quite a bit more just because of the way it's made. Obviously, cottage cheese is a little bit different than the cheeses you would put out on a cheese board. But if you think of cottage cheese as a grandmother food, you may want to think again. It's quite delicious adding cinnamon and fruit to it, make a nice sweet high protein bowl or stir it up with some salsa and scoop it up with some chips or veggies to get a really nice high protein snack. Cottage cheese, like other dairy foods, is gonna deliver some calcium and vitamin D as well. And you may wanna play around with trying different brands because depending on what type of fat you're getting, whether it's full fat or a lower fat and the type of curd you're buying, they can taste really different. So if you've tried it before and haven't liked it, you may wanna try again for that really nice protein. One of my favorite foods are hemp hearts or hemp seeds, and they deliver a whopping 10 grams of plant-based protein in three tablespoons. They're very easy to add to a variety of different foods. I sprinkle them into oatmeal, muffins when I'm baking, add them to smoothies. You can even add them to pasta sauces if you're looking for a little more protein, fiber, and healthy fats in your diet. This food, it's like a magical little superfood. It's gonna help keep you full and deliver that protein. Another reason I love hemp hearts is they're more mild than some other seeds like chia seeds and flax seeds. So chia seeds can change the texture. Flax seeds have a much nuttier taste. Hemp seeds are a little bit lighter in color and they're just more mild in flavor. So I love adding them to the foods my kids are gonna eat too to give them those healthy fats and protein and fiber. Specifically, black beans are a good source of protein. In one half cup serving of black beans, you'll get eight grams of protein. Plus beyond that, you're getting some fiber and antioxidants. But the reason I love beans so much is not only are they nutrient rich, they're really affordable and easy to eat in a variety of ways. So you can buy them dried or canned, 
for a protein, they're pretty inexpensive, and add them to your tacos, to some soups, throw them on top of salads, and you'll get a protein and fiber boost. So here is quinoa, which has seven grams of protein in one cup. Now, the neat thing about quinoa is that it's a complete plant-based protein, which means that it has all the essential amino acids that your body needs. So protein is made of amino acids. Some are essential, which means you have to eat them, and some are non-essential, so your body can convert other amino acids to those as it's building the amino acids back up in your body into proteins. Now, if you are eating just plant-based, you do need to be slightly mindful of getting a variety of protein sources to ensure that you're getting all those amino acids in throughout the day, whereas animal protein foods like steak and chicken are a complete source of protein and have high amounts of all the essential amino acids that you need. Here we have almonds, one of my favorite nuts. One ounce is going to give you six grams of plant-based protein. Plus, like with any nut or seed, you're gonna get some of that heart healthy fat from these almonds, as well as some fiber. So almonds are a great food to snack on because they're gonna help keep you feeling full, give you that sustained energy, instead of grabbing something that's gonna give you a quick blood sugar spike, like a handful of chips or something that's more easily digested. These will help keep you feeling full, you've got those heart health benefits, and you're getting that plant-based protein. Almonds are a good source of vitamin E and also deliver other minerals like manganese and magnesium. Peanut butter is super versatile, super affordable, so delicious, and also packs eight grams of plant-based protein in a two tablespoon serving. So peanut butter, I like to buy the natural kind, which is just peanuts and salt, but you're still getting about the same amount of protein regardless of the type that you buy. It's great on toast in the morning as a classic peanut butter and jelly sandwich, or consider trying adding peanut butter to sauces and marinades for dinners to get that little protein boost. Peanut butter is also a good source of healthy fat and has some fiber because it's just made from ground up peanuts. So you'll get that satisfying nutrient combination plus some extra nutrients there. So love peanut butter, as long as you don't have an allergy, feel free to add it to those foods for a nutrient boost and a little extra protein. So I like natural peanut butter, which is just peanuts and some salt, stir it up, you're gonna get a lot of protein. If you buy a more conventional peanut butter, you'll get about the same amount of protein, but those peanut butters have a little bit of added oil and added sugar. So it's just something to be mindful of that you're gonna get a little less nutritious foods in those more classic conventional peanut butters. And if you hate stirring up natural peanut butter because all the oil rises to the top, I've got a great tip for you. Store your peanut butter upside down before you open it. Then when you get ready to stir it up, flip it back, all the oils have already gone down to the bottom, so it's a lot easier to stir them in and make sure they're incorporated, rather than having them just sitting right at the top of that jar. You'll get nine grams of protein in half a cup of lentils. Lentils are also gonna give you some fiber and minerals like iron, magnesium, and phosphorus. I love lentils, they're a legume. I love them in soups, adding them to salads, really affordable, they cook really quickly too compared to other dried beans. So if you have a bag of dried lentils in your pantry, you don't need to soak them overnight. They cook up a lot faster. They're delicious in lots of curry dishes and stews and just a great way to add protein and some more nutrition to your diet. Tofu may not be a surprising source of protein to you, but it does have more than an egg with nine grams of protein in three ounces. Tofu is one of those foods that I think people either love or hate, and I'm convinced that if you think you hate tofu, you probably just haven't tried it cooked the right way. So you can buy smooth silken tofu and throw that into smoothies to get a little bit more protein, or you can buy firm tofu to use in scrambles and stir fries. And you may wanna take a little bit of time to marinate it, right? Tofu is like chicken, you need to add flavor to it. At the grocery store now, you may also see extra firm tofu, which not only has a much nicer texture, if the texture is your issue with tofu, it's already been pressed, so a lot of the extra water and moisture is gone. It has a heartier, meatier texture. It also has more protein than regular tofu with about 14 grams in a serving. Tofu is made from soybean curd and is pressing coagulated soy milk into a block. 
Topo is also going to deliver some calcium and other minerals. And if you've heard that soy is bad for you, that's just not true. Most research shows that soy actually has protective effects on our health and consuming two servings of soy a day is perfectly fine. Plain Greek yogurt has 22 grams of protein in one cup which is more than regular yogurt because of the way that Greek yogurt is made by straining out some of the whey that's found in milk. Now it's super high in protein and also makes a really convenient quick meal or snack. Layer this up with some berries, maybe a little bit of granola or whole grain cereal. You can put it in a mason jar, take it to go if you're on your way out the door, or again, add Greek yogurt. People like to mix it up and use it in place of sour cream in some recipes to get a little bit more protein. Greek yogurt's also got probiotics in it, which are beneficial bugs for your gut health. So just another reason to love yogurt. Greek yogurt has more protein than regular yogurt in part because it's like a concentrated form of that yogurt. If you've noticed, it's thicker than other yogurt you may buy. When it's made, that yogurt is strained and some of the extra liquid and whey is removed to give you Greek yogurt. Greek yogurt is like a concentrated form of regular yogurt. And if you've had both, you'll notice that Greek yogurt is thicker. That's because when it's made, that regular yogurt is strained. So some of the liquid and whey is removed and you end up with Greek yogurt, which again has that nice thick texture and is also higher in protein than regular yogurt. A glass of milk actually has more protein than one egg. There's eight grams of protein in a glass of cow's milk. Now I feel like regular dairy milk has gotten a bad reputation over the past few years with lots of people cutting dairy out of their diet, but it's actually a key source of lots of different nutrients. So not only are you getting eight grams of protein in this glass, which is more than you'll find in a lot of non-dairy milks like almond milk or rice milk, you also get that calcium and vitamin D and it's just got a nice natural sweetness to it with no added sugar. I love having milk with cereal or adding it to smoothies, again, to help balance out some of the fruit I might be adding, give it a little bit more protein. And it seems like we're starting to see milk making its comeback, with some even saying that it's the new hot girl beverage of the year. To make sure you're getting enough protein throughout the day, try to add one of these high protein foods to every meal and snack. It will help ensure balanced blood sugar, leave you feeling full, and again, Make sure you're hitting your protein needs plus give you an extra nutritional boost. Let us know what other questions you have about protein in the comments down below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications for more practical and delicious nutrition tips from me and Healthline.